take you from Maureen to this less beautiful site here. The buildings are beautiful, but the sky is just not so great today. Gray again today. Fox 46 Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane here to tell us where the rain is coming from, where it's headed to. We've been dealing with this for 24 hours at least now, and it's just not nearly as good looking as that Van Gogh exhibit, is it? No, it's not. I know. Back to the more serious news here because <laughs> we do have some, some yeah, serious weather to talk about when it comes to the threat for some flooding and maybe a couple more isolated strong to severe storms. The chance is still there for another few hours as we go into this evening. There are no, though, active warnings out there right now. And as we look around on Fox 46 radar, I know a lot of you, especially around the Charlotte area, we did have some moderate showers rolling through earlier today, but a lot of you are probably saying, okay, where's all this rain? It's focused right here, south and east of Charlotte, mostly still coming down heavily. These stronger thunderstorms Southeast of Wade's Road down toward Morvin, Chesterfield. The rain really falling there up and down Highway 52, Route 1, heading up into Rockingham. Folks in Ellerby there still getting some of the heavy rain and some frequent at times lightning too. So please keep it inside and continue to watch out for ponding developing in the roadways. If you do have to head out on the roads anytime soon, remember the old saying, turn around, don't drown, because you just don't know how deep that water could be. And notice, I mean, it's really just this conveyor belt of moisture that continues to be pumped in here. Chesterfield County, we've got more rain on the way, and that will likely continue to lift on up into places like Anson, Richmond counties. Meantime, we have a few isolated, lighter showers over parts of Union County, down through Lancaster County, near Indian Land, and heading down toward Richburg as well in Chester County. But the greatest risk for flooding will be out toward Anson, Richmond County, but even Chesterfield County, too. Flash flood watch continues in those areas until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And here's the thing. These are some of the areas that need the rain the most, getting it here today. Latest check of the drought monitor. You can see this beige color from Monroe out toward Wadesboro, Rockingham, Chesterfield County. Still looking at moderate drought conditions, but we expand the view. And now we're officially in a severe drought just southeast of Chesterfield County, out toward the coast and near Myrtle Beach and the Wilmington area and out toward the Crystal Coast as well. So some needed rain, but we were saying sometimes it's just too much of a good thing, and that could lead to some flooding issues. Now, meantime, around Charlotte and up through the mountains and foothills, the rain and storm chance does continue. As I said, even into the overnight, kind of rising a little bit before midnight as we actually see a cold front moving in from the west. Mostly cloudy, though, right now over the Queen City. It's a warm and muggy 85 degrees. Check out these temperatures where it hasn't rained, low to mid 80s, but you can see the cooler 70s off to the east with the rain and cooler 70s up in the mountains. So what to expect heading into the weekend? Showers, thunderstorms still possible overnight, although the activity will be winding down for that morning drive into work tomorrow, looking drier and looking drier overall heading into the weekend as temperatures remain warm and humid. But the thing is tomorrow, the shower storm chance doesn't totally go away because that front, it's such a slow mover. So that's gonna keep some of that instability in the forecast. And so that's why I still have that Lower chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm into the afternoon. Just can't totally rule it out. Saturday and Sunday, once again, more of the same slim chance of a stray shower or storm. To, but don't cancel any outside plans for that. Temperatures get a little hotter, close to 90 by the end of the weekend. And future radar shows again through 5 o'clock, heading into the day tomorrow. Just a couple little blips of green showing that minor chance of a spotty shower or storm. Saturday morning looking dry, and again, just that hit or miss shower thunderstorm possible again for Saturday. Afternoon, Sunday, once again, slightly higher chance going into early next week with temperatures all the while staying in the warm and humid 80s.